nigga won't fight, he gon' die. Slime in her face when I pull out the snake. I come correct, I can't make no mistakes. She kissing girls, you know I got a stray. Came before now, you know that got her A. The Glock and the Chevy don't box like a Chevy. I threw her five, now she hot and she ready. She cranking present, she still love that Eddie. Eat up that box, I won't eat her spaghetti. Yeah. Sell the dick, sing my song, fuck it good, leave me alone Nigga want smoke, then I'm bringing the bone Pulling the party, I bring it along I got hoes in this party, they singing along I was down on my dick and I need it alone Ran that shit to the top, I'm the king on my own I kiss that hoe in the cheek like she special I could box you for free, but that beef gonna be extra She bought me a mirror, this bitch can't be serious She call up my phone, asking questions, Alexa Walk in the back of the bank like a teller Yeah, dog in the spot like Cruella That pussy retarded, so I call her Riri She know when she see me, she bringing them Fuck all that patience, I ran out of weight Terrible Bye, baby, I ran out of space. I hit the gas until I'm out of space. Sipping bad luck cause I ran out of ace. Hit from the back, I'ma pull out a lace. If I'm eating cat, then I'm saying my grace. My birthday just bad, baby, throwing that cake. Got my quarantine mask, fucking hoes staying safe. Yeah, back up the spot like I back up the dope. Back through the city, I'm back on good hope. Sipping on yellow, these nigga like yo. Nigga won't battle, that nigga get choked. Call me a monkey, I'm really insane. Nigga he playing, we mix it like cane. I'm in this bitch with my brother, Dwayne. Nigga won't fight, he gon' die. Slime in the face when I pull out the snake. I come correct, I can't make no mistakes. She kissing girls, you know I got a stray. Came before now, you know that got her A. The Glock and the Chevy don't box like a Chevy. I threw a five, now she hot and she ready. She cranking present, she still love that Eddie. Eat up that box, I won't eat her spaghetti. Peace to the God, the rebirth, and the re-education, but it's only for the nation. Screw your occupation. I'm going to anger people today. We discussed this for 20 minutes on the Rumble before we even came to YouTube. The people that know better, they know better. You, you see people are... People are commenting on Rumble already. There's already comments there. Okay. I'll drop the link if you're interested. TB Uncut. When I was figuring out what I was going to do with my show today, when I was figuring out what I was going to do with my show today, I thought what needed to be talked about so I peruse look at my comments you hear me I peruse I look at my comments I figure out what the discussion is for the day how people feel about things I've said I look at my inboxes on all the platforms that I have people that inbox me on. I look at these things. And I figured out what pisses people off the most. And I figured out what pissed people off the most. And I'm here to ask you right now, what do you think that is? What pisses people off the most? What do you think that is? Do you think it's their money being stolen? Do you think it's the old lady cheating on them? Do you think it's the food cartel that feeds us dirty food at the truck stop. No, it's none of those things. What do y'all think it is? Could it be the broker double brokering them? No, no, none of those things either. What do you think pisses a trucker that watches me off more than anything? 
And why would I be saying this? It's going to ruin my Cash App earnings for today. Nobody's going to send me a Cash App. You would think that Super Trucker Don, but that is not true. That's a logical thought. That's a good that's a good answer, Super Trucker Don. From Rumble, not true. What pisses them off the most? And I'm here to tell you. It's not what the company does to them. It's about when I discuss what they're doing to themselves. Other words, the truth. The truth pisses truckers off more than anything. And I have engineered a show today to get to the bottom of the real Concord truth. Thank you, Tony Owens. The truth. You understand? 1011 says the truth. I'm here to ask the people watching today, do, do you want me to get to the truth and talk about the truth? 12 years driving. 98% of that is OTR. I've been there. Thank you, Malik, for supporting the Cash App. This has to be supported. The regime don't like it. Y'all got to bag me on this. I'm going to give a decent speech today because if we do not get the call-in show, I will be ending. The truth pisses them off. We hear discussions about the big bag trucking company took my money. The brokers are stealing from me. My old lady cheating on me. All my girlfriends tricking on me. My truck breaking down. That is why I don't have any money. I am not here to say that that is incorrect. I'm here to say that is a portion of the truth. That's a portion. The whole truth is going to be discussed here today. I'm going to drop a truth on y'all right now. Here, The truth is you don't have any money, trucker, because you're bad with money. I said it. All of you. You're bad with money. Yeah. That's why you don't have any money. The truth is you're bad with money and you think the money that goes into your LLC is your money. You believe from working, working your company, your LLC, you got a police truck, you're getting a two, three thousand dollar check. You believe you got paid two, three thousand dollars. How do I know this? Because you come on here and say, I get twenty seven hundred dollars a week. No, you don't. No, you do not. That's how I know. It's you. Truckers are bad with money. They're terrible with it. We also can tell that by your spending habits. I done been to y'all pages. I don't know. Been to y'all pages. Why does other streamers and trucking industry don't have a setup like yours? Well, there's a few things. They didn't save money. Why they can't stream as much as you? They don't have, they didn't save any money. Why their microphone ain't good? Why their camera ain't as good as yours? The truth is after they blew that, they don't have, the, they do the least amount for y'all. Because their money went somewhere else. If you come to my live and tell me that I make $3,000 a week, that tells me one thing. You're probably good at working your clock. You're probably a good trucker, but you're a terrible, terrible businessman. And you do not even know the classification of the money that's coming in. You don't even understand the separation between LLC and you. You don't understand that. 
That's why you keep ending up broke. See, Rick LP is offended. You learn from trials and tribulations. That is a, a, a random statement that is just dull. You learned that in second grade. It was no reason to type that. So you, what do you do? Let's say you figured out a vein of, 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 of freight and you boost your shit to $6,000 a week. Some people out there are doing that. We know couples are doing it. We know couples are doing it. What happens when, when your LLC starts making $6,000 a week? What happens? You immediately become more affluent. Now note this, your LLC didn't become more affluent, which is whose money that actually is. You probably should have been paying yourself about $700 a week. But no, you made $6,000. Your LLC doesn't become more affluent. You don't establish your Dun & Bradstreet. You don't look for trade lines. No. I, I, man, I watch y'all, bro. Y'all know that, right? I pay attention. What do you do? You show your new car on Instagram. Is it the broker's fault you brought a new car? You didn't go get a you know a decent car like you know a Taurus, super efficient, super affordable, super reliable. You didn't go get a Subaru, a Toyota, Honda, something to get you from two and true. No, 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 no. Y'all don't do that. You go get some hot boy shit. But at the same time, say the industry is, 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 is breaking down and it's broke. That's funny to me because y'all are not living like there's no money in the industry. Isn't that weird? How is the industry have no money, but y'all have y'all are on Instagram looking down doing a pose like this. And I look through the page and you have Versace shoes on. Are those ugly Dior sneakers? How could the industry be getting bad and not having any money if you have on Dior sneakers? Fly guy, I know. I know. You, you Listen, fly guy, pay attention to how quiet the cash app is. Because I, I have some women stuff in my, my notes here. When we get to the women shit, watch how the cash apps go up. I pay attention to y'all. Like I told you, if I just made a MGTOW channel and bashed women, I'd be a millionaire. Oh, my God, yes. If I just kick women in the teeth all day, I'd be getting 7,000. I used to watch the Kevin Samuels lives every once and again. Have you ever looked at his super chat? People were dropping $5 a piece just to kick women down. Phoenix, you've seen the pose. I'm not by myself. I'm about to do it right now. Their legs are spread apart. They have insanely tight jeans on, which is not a man flex. They have insanely tight jeans on. They have a weirdly colored shirt. They keep retaking out their dreads and making them be braids because they don't want to be too black. So they keep doing the Travis Scott and they show the parts and everything like that. They get the edge up with the white line. And then they sit there and they, they print their head. All you see is their, their, their dreads, their heads are standing out, they're just standing like this. And the caption says something like, won't he do it? Nickel getting money. That's what the caption say. 
And the disconnect comes from what? I thought that the industry was crashing. There is no money in trucking. Not according to some of y'all on Instagram. Y'all getting all the money. Are you spending the mid-level money you're getting on the wrong shit? In 2020, Lavelle bought a $50,000 truck after a year of leasing. Felt dumb as hell immediately after. That's a real, that's a real feeling, bro. My F-150 was 37. Forget about it. I got the title to it. We'll move on. Anyway, the point is this. Do not come and tell me, hey, TB, I can't make no money. When I look at your Instagram and you have on Dior and sneakers and Yeezys, you're wearing your money. You made profit. You had to have made profit. Look how you're dressed. You're dressed like a rapper. Don't tell me there's no money in our industry and you're dressed like a rapper. Right? How can there be no money? You're dressed like a rapper. Rappers display, I mean they have, access of influence. They expl everything's about money. Right? So tell me how there can be no money in the industry but you had enough money to buy Versace sneakers. And, you know, I, I know rappers, bro. I know rappers. I know rappers. The holiest. $5. I appreciate you, brother. Any little bit you can give. Those Versace sneakers are $1,200, bro. You spent $1,200 on a pair of shoes. That the shipper and receiver don't see that you're that when do you know how nasty a truck stop is? You're gonna put white Versace sneakers in a parking space at a TA where drivers routinely throw out their piss cups at night. I don't understand that. Then, when I say something about it, y'all stop commenting. There's only two people commenting right now. Y'all stop commenting, stop hitting the cash app, and you're mad at me. And I'm here to say, fuck you. Your inherent ignorance and your propensity for materialism is why you feel you have no money. And I don't care that it hurts your feelings because you're a piece of shit. I know, listen, bro, Lavelle, I know. I know how they do you. Then you want to have another conversation we got to touch on. We touch on a little bit of money. We'll get back to it. You hear me? <sighs> another conversation we must touch on. The idea that y'all don't like OTR. That's a lie, bro. That's a lie. Y'all love OTR. And I'm going to tell you why. Y'all better not have your lady nearby. I'm about to talk shit. <laughs> your old lady better not be in the room. You better be teaming with your old lady where you can be like, that ain't me, baby. Because all the team drivers is like, see, that's all we together. They don't, don't let TV put shit in your head. Listen, you like OTR. It ain't that you can't find a local job. That's what you told your old lady. You know. 
Baby, I mean, I had to take a pay cut. I'm doing this for us. I done heard all the nigger. I know the truth. The truth is, you're lying. Y'all love OTR. Because OTR does two things for a driver. Don't matter the freaking, it does not matter what the gender is. It does two things for a driver. Appreciate the love, G Brown. It does two things for a driver. That driver that says, oh, I'm looking for a woman, but I can't find one. It keeps you single. OTR keeps you single, even if you're getting butt cheeks. None of these chicks can lock you down because you got to go. Or it keeps you living single. Because the real truth is 60% of you son bitches are married. Y'all married over there on Coco Page calling her a super duper strong woman. When you got a whole old lady and three kids at the house, you nasty thing. You're married. Or got a girlfriend or got a baby mama that lives in your apartment or whatever you have. It keeps you at least living single or it keeps you single. So when your mother asks you, uh, you're 30 years old. Where is the where where the grandkids and shit at? Where is the wife at? You say, Mama, I can't find no one real. <laughs> Mama, it's rough out here for me. When the truth is, you got three wives. You got a white girl out northwest, right? You got three hood chicks in the south. Right? You got that one in the Midwest that's real good with school that you keep her on the tuck because she a good girl. And I'm going to marry her one day. No, she mixed. I'll stop. I'm being mean. I'm sorry. I'm being mean. I have to stop doing that. But it was true. Right? The truth is, you got five chicks that you could have wifed. Wet Willie is laughing because he's like, damn it, I do that shit. That's what I do. This motherfucker, he's talking to me right now. You know what I'm doing. That guy's good. He's good. That guy's good. Yo, you trying to tell me you fools ain't out here splashing in cheeks and you could have been wife somebody. You don't want to. You don't want to wife nobody. Because you know why? Because you like scattered cheeks, but it isn't the crooks of the problem. Because I know people that are 27 that swear they're still 16. If you didn't know, here goes a crash course. 27 is old. It's old. You're not young no more. All these 26-year-olds driving saying, I'm still young. You're not young. You're just fucking stupid. You're dumb. You don't learn quick. You're maturing slower. That's not a flex. It's disgusting. True, fly guy, you do take a pay cut. That's true. If you don't have a hazmat, that's a good of a conversation. You like to feel single. And never come to me and tell me you do this for your kids. That's a lie. I'm pissing people off right now. I know I am. Because every OTR driver knows one of the happiest days is getting back into the truck. Every OTR driver that got three, four kids at the house know they have more pieces in the truck. Gotta go, baby. Wish I, did. Wish I could stay. Wish I could stay, baby, but I can't. Gotta go. Ain't got a choice. Had to. I mean, I couldn't be helped. And you get back in that truck and be happy than a motherfucker. Oh, my God, I'm free. Get off me. I'm back in the streets. And you text your homeboy on the bat phone. You think I don't know about the bat phone, Dave the Trucker? Mm. You think I don't know about the bat phone? Let's discuss the bat phone. TB, what is the bat phone? 
The bat phone is the second phone. That it's the cricket or visible or Metro PCS or straight talk phone from Walmart. The bat phone is the side phone that ain't connected to you and your old lady bill. It's the phone that got your daddy's address on it, so that none you hopefully none of your uh none of your paperwork gets sent there, and she knows about the phone. It's the phone you cut off and tuck behind that panel when you go home, and you don't have it at home. I'm sorry, Zan. Look, I'm I'm talking too much. Yeah, the bat phone. Every OT driver. Don't matter the freaking gender. All solo OTR drivers got a bad phone. As Malik put, so eloquently put it, the whole phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had a, I've had a bad phone since I, since I knew to have one. Like a year of driving truck. Second year, I had a bad phone, baby. Better know it. And it was disgusting. Sugar butt. It was all type of nasty stuff on there. My porn searches wasn't erased. <laughs> I had all the freaking meet people apps open. It had no, it had no freaking password on that bitch. It was just wide open hoeing. <laughs> Lil Chair's mad. Man telling all the game for what? Telling all the game for why wouldn't I? Y'all have no loyalty to me. Fuck you. Yeah, you're doing it. You don't love your children, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh my God, you can hear a hush in Jerusalem right now, boy. You hear me? You hear me? Let me tell you something. Did I t hey, Rumble. We were on like Rumble first. I told you. I'm not getting the cash out of this video. Because I'm going to make them mad. I'm doing it on purpose. Fuck them. I'm going to do it on purpose. Dave the Trucker says, Truckers love saying they do it for the kids. You don't give a fuck about them kids. Shut up. You don't care about them, Cherry. Hey, boo. If you did, you would have figured out how to get your uh, hazmat already and went home. If you love the kids for real. You don't love them. Fuck them kids. I said it. But I'm teaming with my old lady. Okay. You can go down the county. You can go home. That's $1,600 a week box van jobs, right? Yeah, you and your old lady team, right? Yeah. What's $1,700 a week times two? I'll wait on it. Phil, you got to know it. What is 1,700 a week times two? Type it in the chat. 10, 11, top of the cash app, really getting money. Come on now. Hmm? They said 34. Honda. Wow. How much is that times 52? Hit me with that, Chris Gordon. Fly guy. What's 34 times 52? I'll wait. I'll wait. Sideways says each jigabooing. Keep going. Wet Willie, what is that times 52? We'll wait for it. 106, 176 or 167? 176,000. Jeez, oh, Joseph. You know, that's not including dental, visual. Health care for the churn and y'all. Stop telling me you love your kids. You're lying. I don't want to hear that no more. You don't give a fuck about them kids. 
You cared about them kids. You would never bought for Versace shoes. You'd have never bought a fancy car. You would have did none of that. You would have opened a 529 freaking bank account and dumped extra money in there for them to have a college education free and clear. So shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. The truth is, you're with the chick that trapped you. 1011, top of the gas, yeah. <laughs> You're with the chick that trapped you with the few babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're with the chick that trapped you with a few babies, but the one you want is several states away. <laughs> Yo, you think I don't know that's what y'all got going on? The one that trapped you is on the East Coast. The one you wish you could have stayed with living in Houston or Dallas. I'm doing too much. <laughs> I'm doing too much. <laughs> Newski say, shut it up, bro. You're doing too much, bro. <laughs> Yo, I am doing too much. I know. The one you really like is five, six states over. Stayed there after college. You know, that, that that one friend that you be looking at her page when she be going to the bar and stuff for her friends, holding up the wine goblet. That's the one you want. Ain't been married yet, ain't had a kid yet. That's the one you wish you was with. You know, but y'all broke up because, you know, you know, you did some stupid shit to her and stuff like that. She actually finished school. Yeah, she be talking about real estate. That's the one you want. So what do you do? Keep contact with her, right? Turn it down. You want me to turn down my mic, Phil? Explain what you're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you keep in contact with her with subtle likes. She says, oh, I'm at the, you know, I'm at the so-and-so chilling. <laughs> I'm over here chilling. H-G-I-I, -I, I see you. Knock 1011 out the cash app. Jesus Christ, man. You tell you see her when she out there with her friends. She's walking, laughing in the club, dancing. Let me do the, let me do the dance she does. She's holding a wine goblet like this here. And she's holding the phone and she's like. <laughs> and what you doing in the truck? Nasty ass, just looking. Like, 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 like. Mm-hmm. So you sent her a text. You still in Texas? Yeah, I'm still in Texas, big head. Oh, Lord. That ain't a problem for you, because you get sent down the county. So what do you do? I, I come through there sometime. Hey. Mm-hmm. So now y'all got this pseudo we should have been together taboo screw fest at the nice hotel. It, <laughs> hey, convertible Creek, stop. I had to do it today at the nice hotel in Dallas. And you be pulling out all the stops and all that. You know, that's why you got that green dot card so your chick can't see what you spent your money on. Yo, they don't know nothing about your cash out, don't know. That's what you're doing. Hey. And if she's understanding, she'll let you hit them cheeks knowing you got a married chick at the crib. Woody, woody, woo. I mean, y'all so cool that y'all can talk about y'all other relationships together, but y'all still screw sometimes. I'm not dumb. I know what you're doing. I need to stop. I'm getting, I'm getting, I need to stop. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm doing too much today. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey.
<laughs> Look, we're like, I'm be quiet this line. I got nothing to do with this. You got something to do with it. When I get into conversations like this, you tell me, take it easy. I'm taking it easy for. You know what you're doing. Then you turn around. You turn around and come up here and argue with me why OTI ain't shit, but your bitch ass ain't left it yet. We know what you're doing down there in Dallas, man. I know what's going on. I know what's going on, bro. You can't lie to me. You up there hitting them cheeks. Your old lady worked all day with your three kids at the house. You know, she got a little extra to her. This son, this 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 freaking feminist that you're lusting over, you know she she done aborted all the babies she's born to have in college. I said it. <laughs> Pressure. So that motherfucker body together. She together. You pull the truck up, everything like that. The only thing she missing at 31 years old is a man, a working man, and that's what you are. She don't care nothing about them kids, and you up in that joint, long stroking and poking. Trying to knock a bone out that... Come on, bro. I know what y'all doing. Pull out all the freaky stops. You make your old lady ride it every time. But with this chick, you pulling out all the stops. You upside down, hitting the joint, hanging, choking her with a banana peel. You in all that shit, but when you at the crib, she got to ride it, though. Yo, you tired. Ain't this a bitch? You niggas ain't shit. <laughs> Pressure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dave laughing like, this motherfucker, he just spilled a drink. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. You get over there, all of a sudden, you like eating it. Ain't that something? You don't do that in the crib, do it? Yeah. 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 Well, you know what I'm saying? She educated. And my old lady ain't educated. Well, you ruined her life by knocking her up at 17 years old. Of course, she's not educated. You took care of that. I'm sorry. I'll move on. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'm, I'll stop. I'm done. I'm stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Greg, they in their feelings. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. He said, I only got like seven likes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seven likes. Only, what, what, what? Five people hit the cash out. They don't want to have this conversation. Rockers are full of shit. Y'all don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked about that. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize for telling y'all about your hypocrisy. I'm sorry. And me telling you about your hypocrisy is because I've done the hypocrisy. That's how, I, how would I know? How would I know? 80 people on Rumble, 130 on freaking YouTube. How would I know? The truth is, you didn't quit that job because of home time. You stand me? Driver, stop lying and saying you quit that job because of home time. <laughs> look, look, I done pissed them off. <laughs> Why speak on trucking if you not trucking? I'm speaking on my experiences. I feel like I have the right to do that. Stop saying you're quitting the job because of home time. When you think your home time's too long and you're happy to get back in the truck. Real OTR drivers know the first day is joyous. You see everybody, pictures on Instagram, went to IHOP, all that. Take your old lady to Five Below. For some freaking reason, they love Five Below. Bed, bath, and body. You get her some smocks for her job. You just tricky, McGee. It only cost you like six times. It ain't a lot of money. It's whatever. You got it. 
You take your kids, this is shoe shopping, Latrell needs some new braces. You throw some money around, forget about it. You beat them cheeks extra greasy from your old lady and all that stuff. You give her that mercy hump. Because you've been humping all over when you're OTR. I'll stop. You give her that mercy hump, this, this, and that. Woody, woody, woo. Happy you here. Second day, your homeboy comes over that, you know, he went to high school with y'all talk stuff about woody, woody, whoa, everything chill, play a little PS5, watch a football game, watch a boxing match, drink more than you should because you don't get to drink like that. And you have forgotten that you're lightweight now because you don't drink that often. So you get drunker than you're supposed to. You fall down. We all laugh about it. He, he, he. Third day, you're ready to go. Third day, you, yeah, it's about time to get back on the road to you. You ain't going to say it, though. By the second day, everybody's used to seeing you. You got that honeydew list you keep putting off. The kids are past missing them. They're fucking annoying now. You're doing everything wrong. You stay up weird hours. You're eating the kids juicy juice. At this point. Your family's ready for you to go. So how are you telling me you quit the job because it wasn't enough home time when the truth is home time is too damn long for you? You wish it was shorter. You know, but you messed up and told your old lady that every week out you get a day. You were gone six weeks, so she's expecting six days. Third day's over. Fourth day, now you're, you're oh, I got to wash clothes. Now you're coming up with that excuse to leave early. So now you're like, no, nah, I, I just, like, I'm washing my clothes. You're putting your stuff on the bed, making sure it's good. I'm bringing this this time, woody, woody, woo, and all that type of stuff. You're not even noticing that your old lady's helping you because she's about ready for you to get the hell out because you're messing up the house. You're messing up the ecosystem. You're clunking around the house. You're knocking shit over. She ready for you to go too. Why she's ready for you to go? I'm not there. I don't know Jody's name. Because most drivers think they're slaying and praying and the old ladies at home singing hymns. No. Somebody is folding her up like an Annie's pretzel. I'll leave it alone. But anyway, the point is this. You could leave the sixth morning, but you done came up with a reason to sleep in the truck the fourth night. I'm going to sleep in the truck so I can get there early. And she's like, oh, yeah, okay, you got to do this. You know, that's what's up. Woody, Woody, well, let me help you. And she helping you get your shit. Get the fuck on. Get on. There you go, but I know you just fine. I love you, baby, so much. Bye-bye. She goes back to the house, opens up her bat phone because we think wives don't have bat phones. When wives have bad phones. Yeah. And what would they need a bad phone for? They have a work husband, right? You don't know that there's a ex all-star hopeful that is a disorderly at the old folks home your old lady works at. And he just walk around there six four and like a motherfucker. And her bat phone text messages read, did that nigga leave yet? Now he's still here. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone, honestly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think they mad at me. They ain't hit my cash app up. They not they not hitting a like button. I got I got four likes out of a hundred people. <laughs> Jeez, little Joseph. Mm-hmm. Let me go back to my pad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. The new order of the day is y'all hate responsibility. So the truth is you're getting back on the truck. Because the truth is, you're happy to get away from your family. Now let her deal with that shit. Oh my God. Especially they're going to send you somewhere dope the first time. 
And we know about that girl. We know about that girlfriend in Dallas, don't we? So you look at the load. The load says you live by the Chattahoochee River. They want you to drive down from Atlanta or from the DMV. And the load is going to say something like this. It's preloaded. Pick it up from Savannah, Georgia. Take it to Amarillo. And you're thinking, my side joint live in Dallas. I'm in business. So you got to go, baby. They tell you, oh, man, you can pick it up later. If you want to get it early and get a jump on it, that's because the DMs ain't shit. Oh, you want to get a jump on it? It's already ready. You can go get it now, but you can wait until you're, oh, you're done with your home time and go get it. So you say, damn, they done called me. Man, I got, I got to go. Jeez, oh, Joseph. You got to go now? Yeah, girl, I got to go now. You done gave me this load to go all the way to Fontana. I got to go now. So she sets you up. Will, will, will you run down there, pick the motherfucker up, give you an extra two days? She don't know that you're carving out an extra two days to bust them Dallas cheeks. She don't know that. You know, she's also not fighting with you to get back on the truck because you don't know that she's happy to put you back on the truck because Tyrone, the disorderly that played basketball in high school, he's waiting on you to leave. Yeah. Everybody's involved, bro. It's a joint effort because you ain't left her, you ain't left OTR, and she ain't left you, which means your absence is not a deal breaker. Mm. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker. So why not? And here's another thing that you don't want to admit. You love your children. You love your family. You love your mom calling you over there saying our AC broke. You love your mom texting you saying, I want this dog. You love all that. You love going over there and mitigating fights between your mom and her new boyfriend and your little brother. You love that shit, right? But the truth is what you've realized from OTR is that you know what you love more than all that? And this is a bullet point on my paper. You have become fond of being alone. I'll let y'all marinate on that. You have become fond of being alone. Like he said on in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I don't just like it. I'm fond of it. You have become fond of solitude. As Zan the Haven says, peace. You've become fond of that. You don't want to admit it yet, though. Or you're even, it may even be in your subconscious. You have become fond of parking your truck after your flatbed load at 4.30 and getting a good two hours of Call of Duty out in the back in, in, in the sleeper before your old lady calls you and talks to you about not a damn thing. Not a damn. You have become fond of that. You have become fond of laying back and watching your uh your Netflix special shit without your old lady asking stupid ass questions. Why they do that for? Why you watch it like this? Turn on Martin. No, you have complete control over your TV. Matter of fact, you went and got separate Netflix accounts so they so so they can't fuck with your Netflix algorithm. Didn't you? Thank you, baby. I don't got no girlfriend in Dallas. I swear to God. I go to Lebanon, Tennessee. I come straight home. I swear to God, I do it for years. I ain't said it. <laughs> Yo, I ain't say that. <laughs> come back. Damn, girl, you don't make no biscuits, bitch. <laughs> My nigga Jay says, Jordan T says, nah, this is scary accurate. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. You're happy to play the game with your homeboys without kids knocking over the PS5. Because when I talk to you, hey, bro, I thought you were still on the road. Hell no, nah, nigga. I'm in these streets. I mean, y'all happy as hell. <laughs> like, y'all so animated. Nah, bro, I'm out in these streets. I'm trying to stay up. Like, they be happy, bro. A lot of kids are deaf, but, like, I don't want to see them all the time. Like, they'll be there when they get back. Mm-hmm. What's that you making? Um, what? Them grits. Oh, Why you hide it though? <laughs> 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 like, nigga, women ain't shit. Nigga, ain't nothing. She had behind other pot shit. Right? You're happy, bro. You happy to knock that porn addiction off. You like humping your old lady, but the truth is, you like looking at dominatrix midgets more. If someone has refuted what I say or don't like what I said, you could call in if we make the call-in show. Right? Wrong button. Right? The truth is, I think truckers complain because they have nothing else to do. That's the truth. I don't think y'all really have much to complain about. That's the truth. I mean, I've noticed it with the women drivers. They always say, it's hard out here for a woman driving a truck, especially because I'm alone, even though I'm hot and I got perky boobs and I can't seem to find a man, even though there's 700,000 men in my inbox. I just haven't picked one yet. I cannot be bothered. <sighs> I go to a female driver's TikTok. I see cat suits, yoga pants, full face of makeup. And say, I can't find a man in trucking. I'm solo, which is crazy because I read the comments and everybody say, I team with you. They just say it in the comments. I team with you. Screw it. So why y'all ain't saying y'all can't find a man? You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. There's these chicks out here blowing and hoeing just like we you is. Mm-hmm. They got a boyfriend in Atlanta, a boyfriend in Philly, a boyfriend in Houston. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get down to the nitty-gritty. There's a reason why you like OTR over everything else. OTR helps you duck the main thing y'all want to duck. Responsibility. Truth is, you want another 10 years of hoeing. That's the truth. You don't want to pay nobody's bill. And you damn sure ain't trying to uh, change no diapers.
Yo. Yeah, I said it. Cry two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. Mm. That's the truth. Truth is, solo female drivers, you don't want a nigga in the truck with you. You don't. You like being free. You, I'll give you a bigger one. Solo, solo women. <laughs> solo women in truck and don't want a man in, in the truck for a, for a cardinal reason they like the attention mm-hmm. yeah you like the attention I got a thing I call, we called uh, chicks way back in the day. I coined this phrase, two fifteens. Chick be a two at the crib. They are 15 when they get in the truck up. Because, you know, we don't care. We'll hit anything. Right? We'll hit anything. Baby, can I get another uh, paper towel? My lips greasy. I look a mess. Appreciate you. Yeah. Be a flat out two at the crib. They come in the trucking by a body. They're 15 now. <clears throat> Their ex works at Shake Shack. Now the one that they want to talk to is, is got $400,000 and 700000 subscribers. Women have also figured out that y'all are stupid and y'all are easy to get subs from. Yeah. They know that a, a trucker sub is an easy sub to get. All I have to do is just be decent looking and post in the uh, trucking category and y'all will go over there and follow them. Why would they mess that up by getting a boyfriend to be on a truck with them? Or... They lying because who the fuck is holding the phone? I'll let that sink in. Who is holding the phone? Your gimbal ain't that damn good. Right? Your gimbal ain't that good, man. I mean, the phone following them all the way to the back of the truck and to the infamous whole position to to put the landing gear down who holding the phone who's holding the phone bro phone just floating ain't this a bitch come on now come on now come on now mm -hmm. should we do the call-in portion 200 to the cash yeah it could be a joint effort Everybody sent in a 20. This will be done very quickly. Are we staying for the call-in show? Let me check on my mans in them. Let me check on my mans in them. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. What it do, man? You giving up too much drip, dog. <laughs> what you mean? I'm just telling the truth today. That's it. Oh, my God. You know, I understand that not everybody is out here being a, a complete law-abiding saint like myself. But I've seen quite <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been in no cheeks in about 10 days, dog. Like, I, I'm, I'm just as guilty. So you got them scattered? You got I them like... Saying, I'm not saying scattered, but I know where I can go. That literally means the same thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you gotta word it in a way that you don't sound as felonious, you feel? So you... Okay, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Hold on, I gotta sit down. Give me a second. Young as I used to be. Ugh, Ugh, let's dig into this. Because remember, Gold Phoenix called in. <laughs> yes, he called in without it being a call-in show because that's my man's in them. So, how many states do you know you can go to? Ooh, let me think. Uh, about five. Probably about five. That's scattered, Playboy. That's scattered. 
Yeah, yeah, but see, like, like some of them is clustered, or they like right next to each other. You feel me? Like, I live in Texas. That's already a big area. True. So, how many cities? City. Oof. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how many townships, nigga? <laughs> oh man, I don't even want to do the math on that. Hold up. Uh, so my thing is, do you not have a problem giving that up to just go local and just you know? Having one I mean, township and that's the only chick you hit for the next 45 years. Oh no, 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 absolutely. The only reason look, the only reason I'm gonna say I exercise my freedom is because I have yet to find a chick that can honestly take everything that come with me because I'm a very driven person, you know, and I don't go for BS. Now I'm I'm the type of person to kind of I don't want to say force you into bettering yourself, but I'm not gonna sit there and let you be self-loathing and, and settle for less. You know, and, you know, a couple of years ago, there was one chick that I actually did take seriously. It just didn't work out. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I don't care no more. And I just started, you know, slinging pipe. I ain't gonna lie. So she BS'd. Right? Mm-hmm. And you said, screw it. I'm busting all the cheeks now. Basically, honestly, it started off as like, a, you know, I just got to make sure I still could. But then I was like, God damn, that shit kind of nice, though. Like. I don't know. For me, it's kind of like a, it's an ego thing, like knowing I'm desired and stuff like that. I can't front. And that's just me being 100% honest. I, I like how they come after me and all that. It's like, oh, you want to see me? You know, like, Ooh, I bet. You know, this is something about you, uh, Phoenix, I've never known. Mm. Are these white women? No, they're di- different genres. <laughs> so you eclectic is what you're saying. Yep, yep. I dibble and dabble <laughs> in all of it. You like a little country, alternative rock, Blink-182, little jazz? I won't lie. I ain't been with a white chick since I was maybe 19 years old. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And I like seasoning. Yeah, so you're a Puerto Rican follower. I knocked down the Puerto Ricans, the the, the damn, you know what I'm saying? Anything with a little bit of flavor. I put it like that. (laughs) So what state do you like? I know the states I'm hot in that I can really, really like. Hit the basket. What states do you feel like, yo, I'm hot as shit down there? Like, I can't lose. Georgia and Texas, for sure. Georgia and Texas. Mm-hmm. And do they not have a plethora of options? Heavenly Father. Sure do. I definitely would take Texas over Georgia, but you know what? I'll take Texas over Atlanta because them outskirts mm-hmm. of Georgia got some hidden gems, buddy. Oh, my Hidden God. gems. Do not get me started. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> you absolutely Atlanta kind of frightens me. You know the STD rate over there and all. Right. That. You got to be real careful. Yeah. Wanting your chick to be a chick that does get in the way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got to do all kinds of background checks and stuff. Right. Ask but I mean pictures. <laughs> exactly. Let me see your Facebook, bitch. But <laughs> no, no, that makes sense, man. That makes sense. You know, my my, my conversation is really for the. The 35 and up people that come in here and and they always love to refute what I'm saying and say, you know, OTR is not worth it. I'm not making no money. But when I go to their page, they're totally affluently decked out. They're not leaving OTR. You know, to me, they're just coming on here to be unhonest and they're coming on here to complain, to be complaining. Absolutely true. Not only that, but also if you can manage to discourage, I guess in their minds, if you can discourage enough people to not come into the industry, then that leaves more lows for the people who are already there. So they'll come on here and lie just, you know, just for the sake of that. But no, they're full of it. A lot of it is theater. Yeah, it's theater because it's like, dude, when I see y'all, y'all are happy, bro. Mm hmm. Y'all are not, if you're telling your old lady that you're moping around the truck stop, that's a goddamn lie. Oh, no. No, they're not. Especially our nice truck stops like an Iowa 80 or a Joplin Petro. Y'all are showing the fuck out at these truck stops. Bro, I'll do you one better. The Jubits in Portland. Mm. I oh, caught a couple yeah. of like, I, I ain't going to say who. I ain't going to say who, but I done seen a couple of, you know what I'm saying? more popular people out there, the first thing they do is hop in the Uber. You don't know what they up to. I'm not making accusations. Oh, yo, yo I'm you just are saying. You are. <laughs> Dog, the Jubilance is my personal spot, bro. Like, don't <laughs> ever in your <laughs> life disrespect the Jubilance, bro. 
<laughs> bro, that's my go-to spot, man. Bro, that is my gym, son. I didn't think nobody knew about the Jubilees. Bro, that's my go-to spot. That little bobtail area. Oh, uh-huh. God, man. Good food, good location. All you got hopping an Uber, the city is your oyster. But man. hey, hey, don't nobody ever go there. Ain't don't there's ever never go there. Parking. It's bad. They'll kill you. Mm-hmm. You know, right I don't know. Right I don't off MLK. I don't watch the movie and stayed in the hotel numerous times. Oh my God! Don't get the me hotel started. with that big recliner and that big ass LG TV. You ain't never, dude. Been. Ain't never man, uh, I was in Portland for four days one time. I was just dropping. I had a four stop load. I wake up one morning, do the drop, go right back to Jubas. Four days chilling. Hey, and that freaking diner they got in there. Oh, my top God. tier. Top tier. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top tier, man. Oh, that I didn't think you knew about the I didn't think you knew about the Jubilees, bro. I know I know about the Jubilees now. <laughs> That's if, crazy. I, if I if I ain't at Jubilees, I'm at the one TA with all the food trucks and stuff. Oh, hey, that, 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 that by the pilot. Yeah, man. That, that wash bay. Yup. Yeah, that's Wils. That's under Wilsonville. Oof. I think it's called Aurora. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 Aurora. Oh my God, I go over there and get one of them freaking uh falafel type joints, or I can hit the Mexican truck. Yes, sir. Oh, I know. God, bro. Oh, yeah, it's a good day anytime you out there, man. But, you know, they got a Cinnabon place right inside. Sure do. Mm, that don't be packed though, so you got a plan to get in that joint. Yeah, you do. But no, nah, like, like the killer thing is like being in the Portland area. That's up there with all like the alternative. Lucy goosey type. I ain't never messed with nothing up there. I'm scared of that. But yeah, you know, it's easy. It's easy to get it up just to prove a point that don't really help them. I'm free, and uh, it's a whole right, thing. right. Yeah, like you be you be you go up there, you're gonna be hitting chicks that's non binary. Yeah, man. I, I went and took a shower. I was at Juba's last time I was there. It came out, there was some chicks having a photo shoot in front of the truck. I'm like, you know what? Oh my Y'all god, do what they do. Oh my I ain't even gonna say nothing. No one ever talks about the nefarious stuff that goes on in Fontana and Ontario. Oh, oh my god. god, bro. Y'all know they selling butt over there. They sure are. That place is a hub of nefarious activities. Mm-hmm. Why you think them fools will kill each other to get in there? Mm-hmm. It's just like the loves in Memphis, bro. If you if you park in Memphis, you know why you're there. You mean West Memphis or Memphis? Memphis meant like loves the loves over there off of uh, mm. Lamar. You know how you there? That's the only I've never seen so many. Uh, I, I would say uh, nighttime workers <laughs> in such a small area before. You right. you're going yeah. there for a reason. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, or, or that truck stop in the middle of Las Vegas. Oh you my Wild West. Yes, man. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Over there too. I mean, they're just in the open with the shit, bro. Mm-hmm. They're literally just walking around, ass out, bro. Like just out yeah. there. They do not care. They don't care at all, bro. Yeah, it's some it's some wild shit going on, bro. You gotta watch your back out there. Mm-hmm. You know, in, in, in the east, our prostitutes don't look all that. But when you go west, they look better and better. And a lot of people don't even know that Seattle got a major whole stroll. They do. A major whole stroll. And you telling me y'all want to go home, be local? Stop He's lying, lying bro. It, don't, it ain't hard to go home, be local, bro. You can call any mega carrier and you'd be $1,500 a week local on a dedicated route, bro. Stop. Not Smith even. got them. Warner got them. Yeah, hello. Even on the specialized realm, man, you if you got hazmat and stuff, depending on where you live, you talking more like eighteen hundred. Work fifty yeah. hours a week. Yeah, NFI. There's a Walmart distribution with, a, with ten NFI trucks in every town. Yep, NFI Messer is another one. Yeah, come on, man, stop it, stop, stop lying. You you could have been home, bro. You don't want to be home. You're an international play out here in the streets. Don't lie. Mm-hmm. No, nah, bro. I appreciate you calling in, dog. I really do, man. Uh, For but sure, we didn't, man. We didn't get the call in show, so I will not be doing it. I appreciate you, Phoenix. Yeah, be easy. Uh, we cannot keep going. We did not make the call in show, but I will be leaving here to leave my uh exiting statement. I gotta come over here and talk to my my uh Rumble people. 
So right now we're leaving and we're going to Rumble. I'll leave the link for you to be able to follow to Rumble. I'll leave the link for y'all to be able to follow Rumble. That's where the live is going now. I'm going to cut the YouTube portion off and we're going to be on Rumble. Sorry we didn't make the talk show uh, joint. We didn't hit the $200 to hit the talk show. So we're outie. I'll see y'all on Rumble. A good bye. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. That's Brian saying weird shit. Uh, yeah, so we're going over to a Rumble now. Everybody leave right now. Hit that link and follow us on over to Rumble. We already got 80 people in there right now. See you on Rumble.